Today is a new tool day, which is always very exciting for me. I love getting new tools, especially when they are power tools, and that is what we have today. Now, there's a little bit of a story as to how I got my hands on this box that's sitting on my workbench right now. If you guys watched my mini series where I fixed the Mini Cooper up and got it back on the road, during that series, um, there was a moment, and if I can find it, I'll put it in the video. I just want to quickly shout out this Ratchet. Um, I don't know how long the offer is going to be on, but if you go on eBay and search for a Draper Expert 3.8 Ratchet, this is a 60 tooth. Um, I think I paid £10 for this, and it's a 60 tooth 3.8 Ratchet, and it is amazing. Listen to it. I know a lot of you ask me about my tools and what I use. Go ahead and grab yourself one while they're so cheap. I highly recommend these things, they're so good. But there was a moment where um, just completely randomly I showed a tool that I was using, a ratchet, in fact it was this one right here. Um, this is a 3 8 ratchet that I was using on the job whilst I was doing the head gasket on the Mini. It's a tool that I'd recently purchased and I was actually very happy with the tool. And as I usually do, if I find a tool that I like, I know that there's a lot of you out there that are looking to buy tools and looking to see what I use. So what I did was I gave it a quick shout out, said in the video that I like this ratchet, it's a good ratchet, and that you should pick one up if you want one. A bunch of you messaged me saying that you picked it up and you were very happy with it. A couple of days later after that video went live, I actually received an email from Draper Tools themselves, I guess it was like a representative or someone that works for them, watched my video, managed to see what was 20 seconds worth of footage of me just showing this ratchet. Uh, they saw that, they liked that I shouted them out even without asking them, um, and they said that they enjoy my content, and so because of that, um, they offered to send me out another tool. Now they said I could choose something off their website. They weren't very specific in what I could choose, and um, they just kind of said, what do you need? Um, and of all the things that I need, you guys know I've got a lot of tools. That toolbox is full, that toolbox is full, that toolbox is full. I've got a lot of tools, right? I've collected a lot of tools over the years now, um, so there's not really that much that I need. However, if you've watched my videos for a long time, you will know um, I get told all the time that I need to buy myself a decent half inch impact gun. Now I have got a half inch impact gun, but it's a corded one and it's a Clark one and it's like really aggressive and it's not very good. It was a cheap one off eBay um, and I don't really use it very much just because it's just, it's too much, it's too powerful um, and it's really aggressive and it feels like it's going to break your wrist every time you use it. So I digress. I emailed Draper back and on a whim I said, the only thing that I really need, and it's the only thing that people tell me I need, is a decent half inch impact gun that I can take wheel nuts off with um, and take off like suspension components if they're really stiff. Just a nice, decent, powerful half inch impact is kind of the only thing that I'm really missing for my arsenal. I've got quarter inch, I've got three eighths impacts, I've got, I've got an electric ratcheting wrench as you would have seen in a video not too long ago, I've got the Sealy one. So the half inch gun is what I asked for. Now I was skeptical. Um, I know that they can be expensive and I didn't know whether they would be up for sending me something like that for free. But lo and behold, a couple of days later, they sent me an email back saying, yep, no problem. They said to pick one off the website. I gave them the item number and stuff. A few days later, the box arrived and I now have myself what I think is a half inch impact gun in this box. So what today's plan is, I'm gonna get the thing unboxed, I'm gonna show you through it, um, and then we're gonna put it through a few tests as well, just to see what it can actually do, and see if it can actually take wheels off, because that's the main reason that I wanted this thing. I wanna be able to take wheels off, because usually, as you would have seen in most of my videos, whenever I have to take a wheel off, I usually end up pulling this thing out, which is my like half inch long ratchet. Um, but I break them loose usually, and then I'll use my 3 8 impact to zip them off the rest of the way. Um, which is this thing usually here. I usually use the little Dewalt. It's not got enough juice to take wheels off from the get-go, so I usually have to crack them loose before I take them off with that. Um, so it'd be nice just to have one gun that can do both things, zip them off, and make my life a heck of a lot easier. So, so that's enough waffle, I think. I'm gonna get this thing unboxed. We'll have a look what's inside. I'll talk you through the whole thing, show you what the tool can do, and hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be happy that I have a half-inch gun that I can start taking my wheels off with in the videos, and you guys can stop bugging me to get one. Right, so here we go. This is what our care package from Draper actually consisted of. 
this is the tool that I asked for and um, they did have a few different half inch impacts on there but they were the older models this is their new Draper Stormforce model and um, it's the latest one I think it's literally only just come out there's no reviews on YouTube whatsoever so far this yet so this will be a good opportunity to stick one on there to actually get a review up online um, but I wanted this one because like with most power tools nowadays they have one battery that fits a range of tools um, I've got this stuff from uh, I think it was Lidl, this stuff, the Parkside stuff. I've got a drill, and I've got an impact, and I've got a grinder there, and they all run on these same batteries. I wanted to get myself into a range of power tools, more automotive-based power tools as well, um, and I figured that this would be a good place. Everyone knows Draper. Everyone owns at least one Draper tool, um, and I've never, ever had a problem with anything that I've ever owned, and I own a lot of Draper stuff. I've never had a problem with it, so I figured that Draper was a good place to go. I will be expanding with this as well. Um, I am gonna add to this as we go along. Providing that this one stands up to what I put it through, I will be expanding on this and probably buying some of the other tools that these batteries actually work with. Now, straight out of the box, um, I didn't realize that they were gonna send me an extra battery. I think that there's already a battery in here, if I'm not mistaken, but they've actually sent me an extra, um, and it's a four amp hour battery as well, and you get a four amp hour with this one, so I've got two four amp hour batteries to go with this. So I am never gonna run out of battery. These should last forever because they're, you can get two amp hour with this, uh, but they obviously don't last as long and they're not quite as powerful, but the four amp hour, you get maximum torque and you also get maximum life of the battery as well. So whoever actually sent this out and put this all together, um, I appreciate that you sent me another battery. I like to have two batteries with my tools. It just makes sure that you don't run out and you have to wait for the battery to charge. It's always good to have a spare anyway. Regardless of that, this is the box. It's in a typical like blow molded case that you get with most tools nowadays. Um, feels pretty decent quality. It's got a cardboard sleeve on the outside, which we'll take that out of. Just have a quick look at that and see what the information says on it. So it's the Draper Stormforce, that's sort of their new range. It says it's a 20 volt, half inch impact wrench. Uh, down the bottom, there you go, 20 volt interchange. It says right there that it's multi-tool battery system. So as I said, um, there's lots of different tools that these batteries will fit. So I've got one 20 volt lithium ion battery, one charger, um, and it says that there's an LED work light on the tool. As well there, it says it's the four amp hour lithium ion batteries. And that is the figure that we're gonna be testing. This tool reckons that it's rated up to 400 newton meters, which to take wheel nuts off with, is gonna be plenty because wheel nuts are usually talked up to about 110 roughly, roughly around there. Um, and this reckons it can do up to 400. So we shouldn't have any problems there. Uh, about the same on the side, what does it say on the back? Not a lot really, just a bit more of the same. Um, got a few different bits on here. There's a picture of the tool and it gives you a bit more information. Twin hammer, which I guess is good. Half inch drive, forward and reverse switch. Variable speed trigger, which is always nice to have. Soft grip, uh, a torque selector, which I think means that you have different settings for how much power you want to actually put through the tool, which is amazing, that's really cool. Um, LED work light, and then you've got a battery indicator as well on the side of the battery, which is also really cool to have. My Parkside stuff's got that as well. I think that comes on most tools nowadays, you can see. That's nice to know how much life your battery's got left, so. Apart from that, that's kind of about it. And you can see there, you can get two amp hour batteries as well for this system. They're obviously gonna be cheaper, but you don't get as much power or performance out of them. So we'll stick that to the side for now because that's kind of irrelevant and we'll actually get the tool open. This is what the blow model case looks like. Draper Stormforce, quite nice that they've got that embossed on the actual case. Uh, nothing on the back, layer down. Nice little uh, carry handle as well. Feels pretty decent, feels like it is enough to carry it around. Quite sturdy, got these little latches. We'll open her up and inside we've got as always the uh, owner's manual to tell you how to use it and all that good stuff I'll have a little read through that and we'll just make sure I've got all my details right on this and then we have the tool itself wrapped up in the plastic nice blue color there's the other battery I did figure that it would come with another one so as I said I've got two 4 amp hour 20 volt batteries which is going to be amazing uh, there's the little indicator on the side to tell you how much battery you got. And then you've got the little release system. Quite nice, good size. See, not too heavy either. Got rubber all the way around it. This black piece all around the battery is rubber. Well, along the bottom anyway. So that's nice to have. And the blue's just plastic. Cool. So two batteries, which is always nice. 
We've then got the charger. It's a pretty standard, normal looking charger. As you can see, you've got one green light, one red light. The red light means it's charging. The green light means it's charged. That's pretty simple. You can just slide the batteries, obviously, on here to charge them. It's quite nice and simple. That will sit up there with all my <laughs> 10 other chargers that I've got for all my other, all my other impacts I've got in there. This will uh, find a place up there somewhere and I'll sit that. And charge the batteries, that's cool. Decent long cable as well. Can't be bad. Now, this is, let's just get out of the box. This is what you've all been waiting for. Let's just put the box to the side for now. There's nothing else in there. Just stick that just there for now. Now, let's get this thing unwrapped. Right, so just taking a look at this thing straight out of the box. I can already tell it's got a really nice weight to it. Um, it's obviously a little bit unbalanced at the minute because I ain't got the battery on there, but um, it's quite top heavy. There's a lot of weight there. Feels really nice in the hand, nice and ergonomic as you would expect these things to be. Uh, the black piece all around here is metal, I think. Around the chuck is actually metal there. But all the other bit of black bits, like all around here, all around the grip, they're all a nice rubber, which is always nice to have. And so it doesn't do your hands in. The blue bit is all plastic. Got the half inch uh, drive right there, which is cool. And look at this, this is probably my favorite feature. I don't know if I'll be able to get the camera in there. We have a little, what looks like a button for the, uh, the amount of torque you want to put through the tool, right next to the little light. If I stick the battery on it real quick, I'll be able to show you that. Let's just see how easy that goes on. Nice. I've got the trigger there, like normal. Push it one, one way to go anti-clockwise and the other way to go clockwise. Pretty simple system. As you saw, it's got variable speed, so you can go nice and slow. The more you pull it in, obviously it's gonna go faster. Feels nice. So at the minute, as you can see, it's really hard to get the camera in there. At the minute, the green light is on the end right here. Can you see that? And if I press the button, it actually goes down. So it goes down to the left. So a bit weaker, a bit weaker, a bit weaker, and then the weaker setting is right there. I'm not entirely sure how many newton meters each setting is. I'll look that up in the manual in a second. Uh, but obviously, if you've only taken off a small bolt, then you can turn it right down so that you don't over torque it and uh, snap it off. Or if you're doing wheel nuts back up, if you want to use this to spin them in, you can put the tool on the lower setting. Um, do them up and you know you're not going to like over torque them or snap the bolts or whatever which is always a nice feature um, and then if you're undoing stuff and it's really tight you can just turn it on the top and give it the full beans which is quite cool um, it's a really nice tool it's actually like I said now that it's got the battery on there it's actually really well balanced so if you hold it like that it's not um, like top heavy or anything it's really quite well balanced and it feels really nice and what I was worried about let me just show you my other half inch what I've got this is what I used to use to take wheel nuts off with. As I said, it's a corded Clark um, one, and I've got my fair use out of it, as you can see. But it's not variable speed. It's got none of the features that this Draper one's got. These are just, these new tools that they're bringing out, all these um, fancy battery operated ones, they're like a world away from air tools and from this corded stuff, which is just trash. Like this thing is just trash. I don't even, it's like a door weight now. It's pretty useless. I'll stick that back in there. As I said earlier, it's got the um, indicator, battery indicator on the side, which is nice to have so you can see how full the battery is and if you need to charge it. Um, what else have we got? There's not really that much else to show you about the tool, to be honest with you. I think it's brushless because when I put the trigger, I can't see any sparks in there whatsoever and you'd usually see a spark. So I think it's a brushless motor, I think. I'll have to read in the instructions and see what that says. Um, but other than that, that's kind of it. Nice looking tool, as you can see. Nice colour. The main thing being there is not how it looks, but how it actually performs. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out to one of the cars, get the car jacked up. I'll take my torque wrench out with me, torque the wheel nuts up to a certain torque, and we'll see what this thing can do at taking them off. Hopefully it works really well. I've got my fingers crossed. Come on, Draper, do not let me down. So I just figured I'd show you this real quick. I've put the uh, second battery on charge just to show you how the charger works. Slip that on there. Um, with most of these chargers, they literally just have a red light, green light. Red light just says it's charging. It even tells you right there. And then it'll turn to green as soon as it's charged, and you'll know. Um, I think these batteries are like fast charge as well, all these chargers are. 
again, I'll have to read in the instructions. That's what I'm now going to do. I'm going to take a couple of minutes. I'm just going to read through this. And then we'll take this thing out to the car and we'll give it a test. I did have a little read through the manual. There wasn't an awful lot of information in there, um, not very really useful information there. It just sort of tells you how to use the tool, safety instruction, that sort of thing. It doesn't say that there's any actual like exact figures of how many newton meters of torque you'll have on each of the five settings. Um, it just says that the lower it is, that the less torque you'll have, which is kind of obvious. Um, but there's no exact figures, so if you're looking for that, so if you're looking for that, I don't know, there might be some more information online or something like that, but it doesn't say anything in the instructions about it, so it's not really the end of the world, doesn't matter too much, but it would be nice to know, I suppose. Right, I've got my torque wrench set to uh, 120 newton meters. I think these are already torqued to 110, uh, but I'm going to go a little bit extra and just go 120, and then we'll see if the impact can take them off. I thought it was probably worth mentioning as well that um, this has obviously got a retaining ring on it like most impacts do and so when you put the socket on um, it obviously doesn't fall off it comes off nicely but it doesn't fall off right see what this thing can do I'm gonna do it on the top setting as well so we want as much torque as we can put through the tool so let's see if we can take it off Not a problem at all. I'm not going to take them all off because I don't need to, but that didn't take much to get them off. I've got my newton meters on the minimum. I'm just going to wind them in. Right, I'm going to up the newton meters now. I'm going to go for, um, what can this torque wrench do? Let's do 150. So we're at 150 newton meters. Let's try that on one of them. All right, let's see if the gun can take that off. I'm going to go back up to top torque. Don't take much at all, that's good. I like that. Right, I'm going to do one last and final test. We're going to go full torque wrench mode. This torque wrench can go to 210. So that's what we're going to go to. We'll do it up and we'll see if the impact can take that off. That's tight. I will be surprised, although it is rated, it should do. I'll be surprised if it does it easily. Ooh, that weren't too bad at all. That was 210 newton meters, that one. So about half what its maximum torque is rated at. Nice. So before I annoy my neighbours even more, I make even more noise, because that's the only downside to one of these, is they are noisy, and if you live in a, a residential place like I do, I've got houses either side of me, houses all around me, um, you don't want to be using one of these sort of like all day long, because people will start getting annoyed, but once every now and again it's not so bad I guess. Um, but as you've seen, it takes off so far, up to 210 newton meters on that wheel nut over there, um, I went 120, 150, and then 210, um, and it, I mean, it's, it's going to take longer each time you do it, the higher you go. But still, even at 210, a few ugga duggers, and then it took it off, which is very impressive. I am so far impressed. I've only used it three times on the same nut, but so far, so good. There's not really a lot else I can test right now because the main reason I wanted this thing was for wheel nuts. And it's proved that no wheel nut, if it's torqued to the correct torque, is not going to be a problem. Obviously, if someone's put it on with an impact gun, 
somewhere else it may struggle a little bit but if someone has talked it up or just done it by hand this thing should take it off no problem whatsoever which i'm very happy about now obviously as we go on i'm going to be using this in my videos you will see this appear whenever i take wheels off um, or suspension components if i just want to zap them off this thing will be making an appearance so expect to see this quite a lot in my videos and obviously as time goes on i will put it through as paces i'll keep you updated as to how it works and how it functions if i have any problems with it i'll also tell you as well this is not like an unbiased thing just because draper sent me this doesn't mean i've got to say good things and that's what i hold all my reviews to um, even if i get stuff for free i will tell you if they're bad i'm not going to lie to you you guys know that's not how i roll i'm not going to try and sell you something uh, that is no good but so far so good i'm very impressed i like all the features that it's got i like that you've got a torque adjustment button which is great i don't know if i mentioned but there is a little torch on there as well so when you press the trigger you do get a little torch right next to the newton meters button uh, which is quite a nice feature as well so there you go a couple of little finishing things on this um i just want to give draper a shout out again i think the woman's name was fran that sorted me out with this and was the one that emailed me i really appreciate such an established international company like draper everyone knows who draper is most of us own at least one of their tools um, i really appreciate them reaching out to me i never would have thought a few years ago that a company at that level would be reaching out to me uh, to send me a tool which is just crazy i really do appreciate it i'm very humble uh, so thank you fran and thank you to draper tools i will be like i said um, investing in some of the other range of these tools i'll put a picture on the screen now of all the other tools that are in the Stormforce range um, and if any of them interest you by all means get yourself started in the Draper Stormforce tool range um, I'm definitely going to be buying some more because these are really decent tools for what they cost this I think I haven't actually mentioned the price yet I think this retails on their website straight from Draper at £150 I think I'll put the proper exact price on the screen right now but I think it's around 150 quid. you get the tool you get one battery um, and you also get a charger. I think you get a four amp hour battery with it and a charger. You can buy extra batteries for these so that you've got a spare one. Um, and like I said, you can get smaller batteries as well if you don't want a massive one like this. But I do recommend getting the bigger ones just so you've got like full potential for power out of this thing because obviously half inch impact, you want a decent amount of power. Um, I think that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love my new half inch impact. I can't wait to put it to more use. As I said, you will see it appear in a lot more of my videos. It's gonna help me out when taking wheels off, suspension, anything that's a bit bigger that my 3.8s can't handle, this one's gonna be coming out. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you go and show Draper some love. I think they're on Instagram. It's just like at Draper Tools. Make sure you go share them some love. Maybe comment on their last post and just say, uh, thank you for sending the impact to Savage Garage. I would highly appreciate that as well. If you wanna support the channel at all, these hoodies are available on the website as well as stickers um, and t-shirts and stuff. If you wanna help support a little bit, I highly appreciate that as well. Anyone that's ordered them up to this point, they've all been sent out. So if you haven't got them, uh, send me an email or something, but you should all have them by this week. Bank holiday probably messed a few of them up, but you should all have them this week at least. Anyway, that's enough talking. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.